North Carolina teachers are getting a new type of training. That training is also impacting how students are learning in the classroom. Now, your side's Aaron Jenkins joins us in the studio tonight for a classroom conversation. So, Aaron, what is this training? Well, guys, it's called Letters. It stands for the Language Essentials for Teachers of Reading and Spelling. Bertie County is leading the way with this. The district received the Trailblazer Award from the state for implementing this new style of teaching, and I caught up with the team of educators there to learn more. A rent, rent, at a, rent, at a, rent, at a, rent, at a, good job. In Miss Newkirk's classroom at Allender Elementary, Magazine. you'll hear students good blending job. words. First sound. Those students are grasping the concepts. Good job. It hasn't always looked like this, though. Two years ago, the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction started a new training for teachers called Letters. Bertie County was one of the first to jump on board, especially after the pandemic. They were concerned about that learning loss. The entire district was. And so this was another avenue to kind of help us in our recovery efforts. Now, two years later, Bertie County Schools has a cohort trained under letters. What sound does she make? This year is about putting it to practice, seeing how it works with um, what we've got going on in our district. Now, you may be wondering, what does this look like in practice? Practice. Phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary and comprehension, but also embedding spelling in there as well. All of those skills students really have to be fluent in in order to be successful readers. Teachers across the state spent about 180 hours of professional development for this training. The hardest thing was probably because we had to do the training after school, so it required them to sacrifice their personal time. North Carolina Superintendent Catherine Truitt says they're seeing those sacrifices pay off. We specifically have seen incredible growth in Perquimans County, Bertie County, Tyrrell County, um, also Beaufort County. We're seeing so much growth that our kindergartners who started off at 25% proficiency are finishing the year at 80% proficiency, which is the, the, the kind of growth we've never seen in North Carolina. Bertie County says they saw a 23 point increase in their in-class literacy assessment from 2021 to 2023. Sometimes when you're doing uh, professional development and change and putting all those hours in, um, it can be challenging, but then as you see, you're implementing the strategies that you have been um, taught, that you've learned, and you see your students now moving. That, that just gives you motivation to continue. The motivation is there for Bertie County to continue trailblazing. Blazing. We're very proud of the work that we're doing because we know that's building a strong foundation. Their hope is that this strong foundation will make students better lifelong learners. When I see them saying those words, when I see them using them in sentences, when I see them using that vocabulary across content areas. I can't think of a single job that you can do if you cannot read. No matter what you do, you need to know how to read. Now, by this upcoming spring, Superintendent Catherine Truitt says all teachers across North Carolina will be done with this training. Each school district is now working on a plan to make sure those new teachers coming into the state are caught up as well. The next step for the state is to expand this training into middle school grades. In the studio, Erin Jenkins, 9 on your side.